Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to share with you on how to protect your garden from heavy rains in five ways so let's get started. For the first one I call it as a stake, tie and cover. So heavy rain can damage, um, drown, break or uproot your plants. The plants like tomatoes, peppers and other soft stem vegetables that need support or trellis keep them or save them from strong winds or rain or hurricane in general so leaving your plants bare without any support can really um, damage and lessen your harvest later on and by being aware of the season and weather all ahead of time will uh, prevent from big damage in your garden so here i'm here in the garden right after the rain and i have learned that I just leave the peppers in the pot just a bear without any support and today if you have for example any peppers or seedlings small plants in the pots especially this tomatoes and peppers are really um, has delicate stem or branch you can um, support them by using um, tomato canes or pepper canes but I'm here I'm using um, this is what I have. You can use wild grape vines, um, tie them around, make your own DIY um, using bamboo sticks to support your plants because um, peppers, from my experience, um, they don't like too much wind. Their branches and delicate uh, stem is very, very prone in um, breakage. So you can tie them around and you can use poles if you have used whatever um, you have that it's available to you right now because uh, during this rainy and hurricane season it's really really very important to give some care to your um, plants and vegetables so that they can um, go through or overcome the rainy and hard uh, wet season just like where i am right now i'm in florida nine uh, zone nine so this season is really hurricane season so there's a lot of rainfall and big winds so i encourage you guys uh, to put some canes around your plant supports especially the ones in the pots sometimes uh, they do have tendency to have a poor drainage as well you might want to check it out uh, i'll put some um, stone underneath there so that it could have a very good flow of water it can get out so that your plants will not drown so here this is just a few of my um, plants and so far that i need some support right now these are my peppers i have small ones over here so i decided to put some support over them and you can use some um, a cotton shirt these are just old um, shirt you can tie them use it around for your plants or vegetables they will not going to hurt them because they're really very uh, soft cottony so also by doing this um, it also discards some pests as you can see right now is during rainy season there will be lots of uh, pests uh, that will going to find some shelter and home from your um, vegetables and plants in your garden so you must keep that in mind because it rain can attract also some pests and increase um, or multiply as well especially during a summer they're really uh, thirsty or that's the time also they breed like slugs or snails as well so here these are just examples of the um, support that you can try at home and then i have here a pigeon piece that really got hit by the wind hard so i have planted around them some sunflower which is really really um, a great windbreaker because um, pigeon piece has um, a soft stem as well they kind of um, lanky so you can use them to tie around with much stronger plants nearby or use bamboo stakes or whatever you have there even your flowers i have some big zinnias that really get knocked out by the big rain or wind 
as you can see so you can tie them around if you have also um, your beans i have used some dried branches and over this way my tomatoes as you can see guys if you have tomatoes tomatoes are really very uh, fragile as well so you may i want to tie them around and stronger canes or support especially some variety of tomatoes they do like to crawl around if you have corns i highly recommend to tie them it is because um, even though corn is tall and had a good support or balance on their own they can really prone to damage and if you have pots as well i have a couple of pots over here that i put in my divider i highly recommend to put it up or use rocks underneath them because sometimes they get drowned because the water cannot get out of the pot like what i said earlier these are uh, my strawberries here so as you can see sometimes they can be very prone to root rot when they get really very soaked with water and the water cannot go out from the pot or containers and really damage the root system of plants or vegetables and then they become more prone to um, pests and disease so if for example you have plastic bags this one is just an example you can use plastic bags if you don't like to if you don't like the rain to pour on the specific plants too much or if for example you don't have big plastic you can use cloth it will still have rain but it will gonna be gentle on it and the wind as well so here i just rub my lab blanket or shawl to that i'm not using anymore to my peppers or you can use dustpan or anything containers that it can cover your small seedlings because they are really prone to um, breakage you can use rock as well to have an to it so it will not lift by the wind or um, plastic cups even shells so these are just examples so over this way i have some pink lady apple seedlings and my avocado that already rolled over by the wind after the rain so here just put it down and you can find something that is kind of hard so they refrain them from falling over or toppling over so i'll just leave it here this is a has avocado seedling that i need to transplant it soon so that's just some examples so here to avoid from over watering from your um, ceiling too much water in it if you have for example um, cardboard boxes or um, plastic you can um, cover on the top of it be because it will serve as a protection from heavy rain and wind just want to make sure that you put something heavy in it so that it will not be blown by the wind so later i may put some maybe like um, rocks there are heavy wood as well so during a really heavy season rainy season is really very easy to um, neglect the garden because it is dirty it's muddy you don't want to go out but i think having that in mind um, you will feel at ease that your garden and vegetables are safe and will be able to overcome and be stronger over the season and for the next um, tip is uh, that mulching mulching is very important guys as you can see this is one of my uh, raised bed garden which it is really bare and the next i have um, experiment i put a lot of mulch a uh, dried leaf mulch that i've collected and it is way much better it is um, not really muddy and the plants it doesn't look uh, very sick because the mud doesn't splash everywhere around the plants so i highly recommend to mulch your um, vegetables or plants it is really very very beneficial and if for example your garden is prone to mud or it does accumulate a lot of water or rain puddles you can use dried leaves to scatter around the walkway or pathway in your garden so here's an example i have 
um, located my garden one of the mistake I did is that I put it very very near to the um, water spout so uh, the water just go out wildly especially in heavy rains and some of the nearby plants are very very susceptible to drowning even though I have a sandy soil I still get this um, big bottles and overflowing of water nearby my garden so if it happens to you you can mulch it and if you were able to determine where is um, the big um, water continuously flowing in your garden the source you can um, direct that flow by um, putting a basin or extender to it so that it can move away from your garden so mulching is really really very important i i can't um, say enough about it because i have experienced it over time that it is kind of like a security blanket for the plants and vegetables so i highly recommend it and for the third one is to use basin or anything that you can fill it up with water really because rainwater in general is really very healthy for your plants but too much can be um, damaging and and too much is not healthy as well for your garden so uh, once um, you accumulate it or over time it's overflowing already in your basin you can transfer or um, pour some water away from your garden as well so far uh, this um, way or technique has um, really works for me um, because um, before i just let the water go everywhere so what happened is that once the water flow everywhere it goes everywhere as well so by being able to control the water where you want it to go or in which direction it really helps a lot because it will not make your um, vegetable or plant a drown but also it will not make it sick as well because they are prone to um, root rot when you ex they experience too much rain or uh, too much rainfall so here especially if you have seedlings very very important to uh, mulch them because if they are just starting to grow they could really get drowned and soon they will die for the fourth one is a plant root crops or lemongrass i have mentioned about root crops because um they really hold the moisture or water very well and soil as well so root crops like potatoes sweet potatoes and other root crops uh, that you can think of or if you have is really really beneficial which i have here are taros sweet potatoes and potatoes so far and they really help with um, holding the water and also before i forget i highly recommend the lemongrass because the lemongrass will help you avoid flooding in your garden or even in your house so you can plant them around to the areas that are really susceptible to flooding or it has a lot of water since these plants love water they will really hold on to their soil and i believe this will help them avoid soil erosion as well these are my taro and i put them around the perimeter of my garden and there are some that i use for like sacrificial plants and some that are used for cooking these are really very very sturdy and they love rain actually they love water so you want to place them in an area that it is kind of like a low-lying area and it will really help you with soil erosion and to the areas that has lots of bottles they're really really very good and for the last one is prune your plants to avoid disease or pests so during hot summer or hurricane season it is really very important to prune your plants because they can increase some pests and disease and or it can contaminate other um, vegetables so you can cut out some vines like in bottle guard where there are lots of aphids sometimes that breed during the summer season these are sucking insects that i had problems before because i was wondering why my bottle guard has uh, um, this like punctured on the f um, young fruit so just bear that in mind during the season uh, these insects really propagate a lot and what happened is that they love to 
Um, second, vegetables uh, that has a lot of water, especially on healthy stems. So please bear that in mind. It is really very important also to prune them because sometimes uh, they get uh, like what we call powdery mildew, especially in squash, guards, and many vegetables. So the more you prune them, the more they will be healthier and stronger. So there you go, friends. And that's how to protect your garden from heavy rain in five ways. So please let me know if you have any questions or if you have any problems with your garden during this rainy season. Thank you for watching. And if you want to watch more videos, I have a whole playlist there for you. You might want to check it out later. See you again next time. Bye.